we're here with Alan from Massport, who's taken a sec just to quickly chat about the products they've brought along today. Now, personally, I use a Massport in my own business at home, and it is a grunt beaut of a mower. So I can definitely speak highly of Massport. I've been mowing since I could walk, and I'm pretty sure my dad had a Massport as well. My dad before that had a Massport, but they've been around a fair while, but yeah. Well, our slogan with Massport is not just a mower, but it's a Massport, Ben. That's right, that's right, you're yeah. right. <laughs> yeah. Um, I've been with Massport about 15 years. Yep. I'm, I'm a territory manager for them. I look yeah. over after South East Queensland. Yep. Um, yeah, we make great products. Yeah, no, yeah. they've been fantastic. So um, tell us a little bit about what you sort of brought along today for the commercial guys and girls to, to have a look at. So Massport has a massive range of product, but our focus today is basically on the commercial type product, yeah. suitable for, for contractors. Yep. So if you'd, you'd start here just with a basic 19 inch alloy. Yep. This is a contractor mower, this is in a push version. Okay. Beautiful product, yep. 850 IC Briggs. Um, mulch, mulch and catch, yep. and then you move up from there to the really serious stuff, yep. which is our 21 inch alloy cell, which is our 21 inch contractor. That's got some beast of some wheels on it, that yep. one. <laughs> heavy duty wheels, yeah, yeah. double spring height adjustment. Nice and wide too. Yep. Little wheels on that, so that gives yeah. you plenty of plenty of grip. Yep, yep, yep. No slippage. Yeah. This, wow. this product allows you to mulch, but also catch as well. Yep. Okay. And, and 21, you said, this is sorry, a 21, 21, inch, 21 yep. inch product. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, beautiful. And so, you've got your throttle and your gear speed yep. on the right. Yep. yep. So if you're into a really serious product, you go for these. Yep. A lot of contractors use what we call a second product. Okay. So just a light, lighter, lighter type product. Yeah, yeah. And they like would the buy and something like this. They would use to your to your left over here, yeah. the 5000 ST combo mower which yep. is just a press deck yep still has the 850 ic briggs engine plenty of grunt yeah what people really love about this product is you've a couple of unique features yep right. is what we call the height adjust is the um yeah what is that so this oh, is handlebar handlebar lift system ah. the beautiful thing about this is yeah. for storage yep up against the wall yeah and away you go away you go ah. but also if you would you want to do some maintenance or work on the product you can oh, actually you tilt, tilt it backwards. Tilt back and away you yep. go. You tilt the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that boy. And away you go. Do your blades, do your clean deck, yep. all that sort of stuff. Got easy access to the yep. product. Yep. Yeah. So it works beautiful. Yeah, yeah. yeah um, mine, mine didn't come with that. Mine, mine's a bit older, this one. So. <laughs> yep. So simple for those guys who are either running a small van setup, tight yep. space, or just need something light to throw yeah. around. Or the classic, why a lot of people go smaller decks, getting through a gate, etc., something like that. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. So, yeah, so this is a chipper from Massport, new product that's now on the market from Massport. So tell us a little bit about this one. So this is the MC900. Yep. So this is new to Massport, just came out last season. Yeah. The focus on this product is, it's it's a chipper that does all, all product. Okay. So, so palm froms. Yep. If you buy a standard, just a, a chipper, yep. most chippers won't do it. Won't do so it. So what you do, you need an actual a product that's got chipper blades yep, yep, yep. so the beauty of this product is three chipper blades yep so this you can put anything in here yeah 75 mil capacity yep. we'll throw it out through the side yep. this has got what you call a high discharge chute okay so the idea of this is you can put this into the trailer or into a bin oh i see and just boom away you go yeah. throws it in keep going. and it's very maneuverable so you yep. can move this around the site yep yep Nice and easy, away you go. Yep. Lay your handle on top, yep. Yep. away you go. Yeah. So this comes in, uh, this, there's three models. Yep. This comes with a Briggs & Stratton yep. IC engine. Yep. It retails about $2,700. Yep. This is the Honda version. Yep. This is $3,000. Yep. Or you can get this with an electric start, which is about $3,500. Oh, okay. yeah, so you got an electric model as well. Yep. Quiet, just for older um, people who can't, who can't pull it anymore. Yeah, of course. They yeah, just want yeah, something yeah. easy, yep. so it's got an electric start. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, mm. lovely. Awesome. Well, that's great. So we've gone through the mowers, edger. I see you got the edger back there as well. Yep. We're getting our commercial grade edger. Commercial grade engine with yeah, a, with a Briggs perfect. engine. Yeah. Um, and a couple of other really good products we have, yep. which a few of the contractors have shown a lot of interest today. Yep. Is the utility type products. Yeah, well, yep. There we go. So this is just your 21 inch side throw utility. Yep. This has got the. This has an 850 IC Briggs engine, so heaps of power, heaps of grunt. Yep. So, on the other one. So yeah. So all our commercial engine products, we, we, we go with our 850 IC Briggs. Yep. Which is the most powerful engine you'll get. Plenty of grunt. Plenty yeah. of grunt. <laughs> Just. So yeah. so this this mower is designed if you've got high grass. Okay. If you wanted to go and just clear a block Doing and you didn't, block and you didn't want to catch yeah. the grass, you just yeah. throw it to the side. Away you go. Yeah. And five year. Five year warranty. Yeah. Houses. That's good. Yep. Five year warranty on this wow. product That's on the deck. Good. Yeah. Five yeah. Years. 
standing behind your product. Absolutely. Yeah, exactly. So the, the so we also have a smaller version, which oh, yeah. is what we call. This is a this is a two in one. Okay. So this is a uh, a mulching mower and also a side throw. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. Ah, so you can what sh shut the side throw off. You can shut the side off. Straight into a mulching. In mulch system. Yep. And if you have a look underneath. <laughs> it has a wavy blade system. Oh wow! Yeah. So the idea of that it just mulches everything up. Yeah. Wow. That's awesome. Well, that's it's going to be super handy for those guys who are. Yep girls who are doing either regular block slashes etc either don't need a big stand on or a ride on to lug everywhere but they can yep. utilize this just to pull yep. up the trailer pull yep. it out of the van and away they go yeah fantastic all right mate well, all good th yeah thank you very much for taking the time for chatting with us i really appreciate it and if you have any more questions you can reach out to massport on their website or send them an email if you've got any more questions regarding any of the equipment you've seen of course hit them up on the email or the website I'll leave down in the link below and you can click on that and that'll take you through to the Massport. Massport have been a great brand over the years and, and I've always loved the gear that I've used from Massport yep. in the past so um, it's great to see what's new and out for all the commercial guys and girls you know wanting to up their game but anyway thanks again mate I Thank appreciate you, it thanks for your time. Thank you. Thank you. everybody we're here with will from icl he's made it down today to sort of give some education on uh basically lawn products they provide so if you're not aware of icl they um are a company that sell you know your fertilizers um and in front of us they've brought down a presentation or, or a um layout of a turf type lacking in different nutrients so will take us through what what have you got in front of us here today yeah so you mentioned lacking different nutrients so it's essentially a nutrient exclusion demonstration hmm. so over here we've got, um, it's perennial ryegrass, just yep. sown at the equivalent of four kilos per hundred yep. into pots. Yep. And we've got a pot that has every major nutrient that it needs. So yeah. nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, kel, mag, sulfur, yep. your top six nutrients plus trace elements. So that yep. pot has had everything. Mm. And then each one of these has had a specific nutrient excluded from that. Yep. And the amount of nutrient they've all had has been exactly the same. Ah. And so that has had everything except the nitrogen. Ah. That's had everything except the phosphorus. Yep, yep. Everything except potassium. Yeah. Everything except calcium. Yep. Everything except magnesium. That's well done. You remembered all there without looking yeah, at the yeah. labels on the front. Well done. Everything <laughs> except sulfur. Yep. And everything except trace elements. Yeah, wow. And then it's just a really good way to show people what you look for if you think you might have a deficiency, but also yep. um, can help people visualise what some of those deficiencies lead to in the plant. So yes. yeah, um, yeah. just to point out, it's very obvious that the nitrogen one, obviously the most important to turf, yep. that's why it looks the worst. Looks as bad as it does, um, yeah, yeah. And then the phosphorus attributes to early germination, yep. early establishment, yep. it probably looks the second worst. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. The one that looks kind of laid over and weak is potassium. Yep. Cell yeah. wall strength, turf yep. vigor. Yeah. Um, sulfur, it's an osmoregulant, so how that plant takes in nutrients. Yep. And so if you stop it from taking in nutrients, 
doesn't get them as much. And no. so it looks thin, it looks weak. Yep. Um, trace elements obviously a tribute to colour and a bit of turf health and yeah. you can kind of tell there's a lack of colour yeah, in the yeah, turf here. So, a bit. so it really yeah. just helps people to be able to actually see. Visualise and see yeah. what's going on. Now don't get me wrong, there's a million other things that can cause grass not to grow well. Compaction, overwatering, underwatering, all that sort of stuff. But you know, pr probably, mind you, a lot of the problems, if you exclude all them, then it's probably coming back to the nutrients in the soil that could be the problem why you're trying to get your grass to be healthy and it's just not. Yeah. So yeah, so that's a, that's a great representation. I've never seen like anything like this before, so it's a brilliant way to set it so people can see yeah. and understand. And um, you know, not everyone is lawn geniuses or anything like that, and they're sort of going out in their backyard going, what the hell is going on here? I'm doing everything I can, I but would still not. I say, um, travel around Australia, talk to a lot of guys in turf, yeah. and I reckon that you'd be lucky if one out of ten people I see actually know the right ratio they're supposed to put nutrients on yeah, it yeah. and also the right amount of nutrients yeah, they're supposed to deliver. Yeah. And often what you find is if you start getting that right, obviously alongside all those cultural things, yes. a lot of those kind of disease issues or problems like wear issues or whatever yeah. seem to solve themselves. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it's purely because the plant's really healthy, it's yeah. vigorous, it's actively yeah, It's got a good fight. Yeah, 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 and so uh, it, it, nutrition does, it's probably one of the big four, I would say. 100%. You got nutrition, yeah. you got water or moisture, yep. you've got CO2 or oxygen, yeah. um, and sunlight. Yeah. yeah. They're, your, they're your top four. Yep. Yeah. If you kind of don't solve those, then yeah. you, you kind of forget about it. Yeah, you know? 100%. <laughs> yeah, and it's the same in the garden. Like in my business, it's not all just mowing. My, gar my business is um, half gardening. Yeah. Half, half lawn sort of thing so I'll focus on both and the plant health is exactly the same sort of thing obviously it needs uptake in the cells of, of, of um, you know changes of, of the chemicals and, and nutrients going in and out of the cells sort of thing to maintain good plant health sort of thing so um, yeah so if you're not aware ICL these are some of the products on the table you can see here um, I personally haven't used them, but all I've heard is good things about them. Um, so I'll leave the ICL website or I believe the table in front of us, the K&B Adams Proprietary Limited, are a stockist of the product. So you can jump on their website and they'll be able to sort you out with any product you need. If you're unsure, like you're looking at the names of the, of the, of the products and you think, what on earth does that do? Then reach out either to, to the people at ICL all the people here and they'll be able to help you and direct you to get the right product that you might need for your lawn requirements at home. Well, thanks very much, mate, for taking the time to chat with us. I no appreciate worries. it. And thanks for coming out. Put your hat down. You're going to throw money in. Throw the money in. The <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody, we're here with Benny. Um, for you guys and girls at home who don't know who he is, he operates the Catch Pro brand. So thanks again, Ben, for coming down, bringing your gear down. He's got the trailer behind us here as well with all the Catch Pro gear on it. Um, but basically, a Catch Pro, uh, all like equipment for pretty much locking down your tools on your trailer and also uh, looking after the body from your whipper gripper handle, etc. But um, but yeah, thanks for coming down this year again, Benny, and supporting supporting the day. Um, we'll just talk a bit about, about you know, what Catch Pro is and what you provide. So uh, at Catch Pro, we essentially sell uh, products and spare parts um, and all sorts of accessories, mostly niche stuff that you can't get anywhere else. Yeah. We've got the uh, Catch Pro grass catcher, which you probably can't see on film. I'm not sure no, if it's no, in there. No, no, I'll shoot a video for that and so you can see what it is. Absolutely, yeah. But shoot blockers, mower blades, you know, we've got trimmer handles, so much stuff. We've got all the, the dry wrap trimmer covers to yes, keep, you know. Yeah, I've got a few of them on my trailer. You might have seen on the channel. Absolutely awesome. East Coast this summer it, it rained more than the, the yeah, sun was out so too. we did need yeah. it and um, it's great to be a part of an event like LLE yep you know and I mean this is was our first year selling um, yes that's right because you didn't sell last year you were just showcasing what you had and no, stuff yeah and even this year we weren't going to sell mm. um, but we teamed up with local dealer Southside Mower Centre yep and they made it a bit easier for us. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, look, it's been, it's been awesome to yeah. be a part of the community. Mm. All the contractors coming down. Yep. Um, and we've sold some stuff, which is good. <laughs> yeah, it's always good. <laughs> it's good to sell yeah. some stuff. Meeting lots of nice people. So, yeah, yeah it's been awesome. Yeah, yeah, no, it, it's finally good, I think, to have something because this has been needed for years in this industry in, in Brisbane not only Brisbane but in Australia there just isn't a big expo to get everyone together me personally I think 
especially in the area I work, there's been a gazillion new mower places moving around in the suburbs. And I'm like, oh my gosh, there's so many new mower businesses up and running. Um, so it's a one place where we can all come find out the latest gear, all that sort of stuff. Um, if you haven't already, I've done a bunch of reviews on different gear that I run on my setup on the trailer from the, I think the latest one was my backpack blower rack that I fitted. So if you missed that video, I'll leave it up in the channel. You can go click on that. But that is a definite, if you have a backpack blower, it's been awesome. And you know, I attend the supermarket often so I can walk away from my trailer knowing that I'm not gonna come back and my backpack blower is missing or a whip is missing or a mower is missing because everything has been secured by Catch Pro. But the other thing I want to talk to you about, which I think is a game changer. And I remember looking at these about a year ago when I was like, man, I need a new fuel can. This fuel can sucks. Uh, do you want to talk a little bit about your new fuel can available to the commercial? guys and girls absolutely so we got the sure can um, I've actually sold out I do have my demo units here but this the the ease of use with these like we do you know people reach out on social media and they're like oh you know just get yourself a Bunnos can but I'm telling you now there is there really is no comparison yeah. <laughs> it's it's so much easier and also way safer yeah. So yep. I'm not a contractor anymore, but when we were out on the tools, yep. you know, when you're rushing and that, you're spilling fuel yeah. and, you know, you're eating and touching your face later on. Yeah. In the Brisbane summer heat. That's not smart. You know, and I used to, I used to get crook, actually. Yeah. Um, but the sure can, you know, we, we tried so hard to get it into Australia yeah. and we just couldn't get that tick. Yeah. Because it costs a lot of money, you have to yeah. jump through a lot of hoops. Yeah. We finally got the tick now. Yeah. And we've we've got Sure Can in Australia. That's awesome. It, yeah. It's such a fantastic product. It, it's so weird that something of a product that is so much more safer is hard to get into the industry when there's rubbish like I've had a few, don't get me wrong, we've all had some money, bunnings. Money and red tape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've all had some Bunnings petrol cans over the years and they are rubbish, <laughs> like in all honesty. And they serve, they serve, the, they serve, the, yeah, they they serve, serve their, their purpose. purpose for their yeah. price range. Yeah. You yeah. know, obviously our cans are on the, on the top end side, yep. price-wise, yeah. but it's the last can you're ever going to buy. Yeah. And it's yeah. not just for contractors. Yeah. Home use, yeah. you know, you could easily... Yeah, for an acreage owner property who's got to run a big ride on, you know, they've got a lot of fuel to hold. Anyone who's tipping fuel, man, the sure can yeah. is, it, it really is a game changer. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. And just speaking of it, um, obviously it's available on the Catch Pro website. Are they still available? Or are you sold out waiting on more no. batch or they're still currently available? Yep, still okay, not. we'll jump on the Catch Pro website, uh, guys and girls, and you'll be able to purchase one of them. And just for uh, literage size, dollar amount, what, what are we looking at? For um, so the 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 2.2 gallon, which is 8.3 litres, yep. is 149. Yep. And the five gallon, which is almost 19 litres, yep. is 199. Wow, well, yeah. is that the one on the trailer behind you? Yeah. Yeah, uh, cool. That's the five gallon. Oh, that's the five gallon? Okay, so, I'll put a picture up on the screen of the five gallon uh, so you can see. And also, we've got the equipment defender racks to store the racks in because they're a unique size. They're not yeah, going to fit course. the yeah. jerry can holders that we have in yeah, Australia. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. We do. And how much are we looking at for the rack holder as well? I wish I knew off the top of my head. Oh, okay, yeah, that's right, that's right. Well, it's on the website? Absolutely. Yeah, no, no, we'll jump on the website or I'll put it up on the screen uh, and you'll be able to go. So if you're getting a gasoline, or you shouldn't say gasoline, it's very American, isn't it? If you're getting a petrol holder, uh, then don't miss out on getting a holder for your a trailer as well. And then I can yeah. definitely vouch for Catch Pro. I've used a bunch of their gear. I've got the whipper rack on my trailer as well and it's been absolutely fantastic. There's nothing better than having the comfort of knowing that your gear that you've worked hard for, you paid thousands of dollars for, is secure and you can walk away from it knowing that you're not going to walk back to an empty trailer and all your gear stolen so and yeah piggyback on that yeah. also you're well presented yes you're yeah. well presented and well looking. organized we yeah. actually you know when we were still operating you know we had our trailers and people were actually stopping in traffic and saying like geez you guys look like you're well set up yeah and yeah. so many of our customers say yeah. the same thing yep. so yeah. i've actually had the same when i'm unloading the dump Many times, guys and girls will walk over going, what's that? What's that, man? Oh, boy, how do you store that? And I'm like, catch, bro. Jump on them. That's where it's at. You know where you need to be. If you want to look professional in this industry, then yeah, jump on the Catch Pro website. Um, but yeah, if you've got any more further questions, you can reach out to Ben or email. Uh, again, I'll leave the website on the uh, screen. You can go jump on. And of course, like I said, they got far more products than just that to look out that'll make you looking professional in the industry. Well, thanks again, Ben, for chatting with us, mate. We appreciate it as always. And no um, yeah, thanks keep going with the day. Well. No worries. Thanks, guys. Thank you. All right.
We're here with Glenn now from Solo. A lot of you will know Solo from my channel. I'm a regular user of their backpack sprayers on the channel, which I've done a few reviews on. But Glenn's just taking a minute to chat with us about one of the newest Solo backpack sprayers on the market. So Glenn, take us through. What do you got on the 442 over here from Solo? Well, Ben, um, Solo, as you know, is a company that's been around for 75 years. It's a global company, been distributed here in Australia by Clayton Engineering for the last uh, 45 years. So our new 442 is our professional uh, grade sprayer. It's an 18 volt sprayer. Um, uh, you'll get up to about five hours usage out of that one battery charge. And the unique feature of that particular sprayer is that you can vary the, the bar pressure out of it. So you can go from one to four bar up and down simply by the press of a button yeah so yeah, um, awesome a um, couple of unique features about it it's lightweight it's only one uh, 4.1 uh, kilos yeah. dry weight wow. um, it's got a triple filtration system it's got a 20 bar hose yep. uh, UV resistant hose yeah. carbon fiber wand so it's robust in its design yep. but it's ergonomically designed to fit your back you can see the curve both oh, yes. ways yeah 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 it's got a double breasted uh, uh harness yep uh, we've also got a waist harness that you can oh, get yes, with that as yep, well yep. so one thing i have found since adding solo i've had solo sprayers for well, a number of years now is they are comfortable yeah. they are comfortable i've tried i've tried other sprayers previously to solo um which i just didn't find as well as other things just not as great but not as comfortable but solo it definitely uh definitely one one of the comfortable ones to wear on the but, back when when it's full of water or full of product whatever you're using yeah I I think one of the things that comes with longevity in that spraying sector yep. is design and improvement on design. Yes. So, 100%. you know, 75 years of developing product, yep. there's not a not a situation that they haven't covered. The Germans being Germans, yeah. trying to work out what... They don't skimp on the engineering no, or anything. No, exactly right. They? <laughs> they may take a long time to change, but yep. when they do change and when they bring out a new model, you can rest assured that it's been tested. It's a good change. Yeah, it's a good yeah, change. So, yeah, yeah. so um, yeah, ergonomically yeah. designed, great yep. sprayer, yep. triple filtration system yep we've even got um we've got it comes with a battery and a charger which is unique for, oh okay it comes as a pack yeah, yeah so yeah, it's awesome. all included yeah. in the price yeah yeah, yeah we yeah. also have um it's a bit of a different battery setup now i see oh it's a it's a two milliamp battery 18 yep. volt yep. um we've also got as an extra you can get a five milliamp battery oh, okay yep, that'll last. Time. yeah absolutely yeah. Yep. and we've also got an extra fast charger that'll charge oh, awesome. it in about yeah. 30 minutes so yeah, yeah, um, yeah. yeah i'm so, actually probably due to upgrade my solo sprayers they've all got the old old tri style battery Absolutely, and everything yeah, yeah, so, so this is probably definitely one i'm going to be uh, uh, adding if, to the if you're adding a to the professional business. sprayer and you're looking for quality something that's mm. going to work hard for you um yeah. that's the that's the go yep. that's the pro yeah awesome all right mate well thanks very much for taking the time with us no and, and chatting about it no worries if you are after anything else from solo or want to check out their new sprayer jump on the solo website and you'll be able to go through it if you've got any more questions of course reach out to the guys at solo and they'll be more than happy to answer your questions and as if you're a long time viewer of the channel you know i've been using solo and all the different sprays i have for a while and i do vouch for them they have been great in the business use or even just your own personal use at home but thanks glenn for Thank taking you. again the time cheers, mate. thanks no mate cheers. All right, everybody, we're here with Ben from Bush Ranger. He's going to have a bit of a chat with us about what they've got here today. Uh, thanks very much for coming along again. I was able to have a chat with you guys, I believe, last year, and they're back again this year to support the day, which has been, thankfully, blue sky and sunshine instead of rain, which I was slightly concerned about, but yeah, it, it is not. It was raining and set up this morning. Oh, was it? Yeah. Well, oh. At 6 o'clock this morning in the dark, there was a lot of rain here. It was... Oh, no way. I'm over the north side. Yeah. We, didn't, we didn't have any rain then, yeah, so... Yeah. so oh. I come from the north side as well, actually. Oh, true. Yeah, yeah, come down yeah. from Reckliff this morning and yep, yep. in the dark and got here, it was pouring with rain. And oh gosh, well, at least it's cleared for the day, yeah. thankfully. I mean, I think there's a few people hanging on to their uh, gazebos, That's but... Exactly <laughs> what I'm doing right now. The wind, is, the wind is, yeah, is definitely doing it, but no, it's yeah. it's it's been good. But, um, but yeah, so you've brought uh, a bit of equipment along today. We've got some chippers, looks like some commercial yeah. SP mowers and push mowers at the front here. So well, the product we brought today is targeted at the contractor market, so there's yep. no consumer products here. Yep. So we've got our commercial push, uh, aluminium-based push mowers there, 21-inch yep. yep. self-propelled and a 19-inch yep. push. Which I believe are very popular in the commercial industry. There's a lot of guys and girls out there so, using them. Yep, so, and, and I definitely think that the quality in that space has moved forward dramatically yes. in the last few years. Yeah, um, we yep. did have an issue with the throttle cable 
um, on one of the machines, yep. the Lonsi machine, but we've yep. sorted that out now. Yep. There's replacement that actually, if you buy a new machine, it doesn't come with it doesn't that cable come with, anymore. Okay, that's good to know. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. And um, so we're demoing those here today. We've got yep. the Lonsi one, uh, 196 Lonsi and yep. the GXV 160 Honda. Yeah, yeah. Um, both non blade brake machines. We do have a blade brake machine, but we yep. just couldn't fit it in the truck. Okay. Um, <clears throat> then we've got our Australian made chipper, which is made at Narangba. Oh, true, yeah, lovely. Um, one of the only small chippers that will do palm fronds. Um, oh wow, well, yeah, yeah. So I have will... heard from palm fronds can be a bit of an issue if you haven't got the right chipper set up sort yep. of thing. Yep. Yeah, so that's the big thing about that unit there. And yep. obviously it's made here. Yep. Um, yeah, we've got awesome. uh, Spartan Stander and a Spartan RZC 42, which yep. is um, our range of Spartan mowers from the US. And yeah, then yep. we've gone pretty heavy on the Mariama brush cutters and Mariama yeah. handheld units. Yeah, 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 yeah. I had a 301 previously. Yeah. Yeah, which is a, a good unit. Um, but yeah, no, it's good to hear. It's one thing they want to know about a brand is if they bring a product to market and there's a feedback of an issue that they get straight on top of that fixing yeah. that issue and knowing you know people now buy with a bit more confidence going that that isn't an issue anymore such yeah. as the cable you're talking about um you know now they're just a solid solid good using commercial machine sort of thing um there is something else that's a um, merit to know about the push mowers is a yep. lot of people comment on the weight of those machines okay. and there's five kilos of weight in the being too heavy yeah, yeah in okay. the wheels they're a cast steel ah. aluminium wheel yeah you can buy a set of plastic wheels, so yep. any Bush Ranger dealer can supply you a set of wheels, yep, which will yep. take four and a half kilos out of the weight wow. of that machine. But then you could also be sacrificing the du durability of, Correct, of yeah. the wheel. So if you're dropping machines off the back of a utility, then yep. of course that's where you want to have those really strong, robust wheels. But yep. we're finding more and more contractors are going to those trailers with the ramps. The ramps, yeah. And if you're using a ramp, up. a ramp system, then the, yep. then the steel wheels aren't as Just important aren't to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. we're letting a lot of guys know once the once the rubber wears off those. Oh metal wheels so when you go to replace them replace them with the plastic ones yep. they're significantly cheaper yep. and they take a lot of that weight out of the okay, machine that's good to know and then also if there's people mowing regularly in uh, moist wet yeah. lawns there's not obviously not as much weight yeah. not as big a ruts etc yeah 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 good to know and of course keeping costs down is obviously a big one in the industry yeah. our outgoing costs as a business we yeah. want to keep them low sort of thing but um but yeah lovely and you were saying uh for the melbourne or no, sydney sydney, so sydney, sydney show you're going to have a bunch of new gear yeah so our major launch that's why we're the naming sponsor our major launch yep. will be sydney yep so there's no new product here today everything that's here is available in every shop but the yep. sydney day will be yeah. We're, we're, there's Show two semi loads of stock going Are down. Are you able to say what is out yet or not yet? No, I can't tell you what it is, no. but it is significant and it's across multiple things. So it's not just oh, handheld, it's it's product. across it's across, be... across wow. everything. So, so it's, it's gonna be a big launch. <laughs> it's a big launch, yeah. <laughs> Alright, yeah. well if you're down in Sydney and you're viewing this, don't miss out on that expo. Get to the Egg Bush Ranger stand and make sure you see the new equipment out. Uh, I don't think it's gonna be one you're gonna miss. But yeah, thanks very much, Ben, for taking the time chatting with us. And uh, if you have any more further Bush Ranger questions or anything you see. Uh, then you can jump on the Bush Ranger website or reach out to Ben or email them through and they'll be able to answer any of your questions. But anyway, let's move on. Thanks again, Ben. Thanks, Thanks mate. Appreciate it. All right, everybody, we're here with Emma from Lawn Care Australia. She's going to take a few minutes just to chat to us about what they've got on today. So they've come down uh, just to sort of showcase what they sell. Now, um, I believe you've obviously got a website like most people do these yeah. days. Um, what's the website name? Um, so it's lawncareaustralia.com. Yep, yeah, so I'll put that up on the screen. So if you see any products here today that might be of interest, obviously ICL um, fertilizers, then you want to reach out to Emma and jump on that website and you'll be able to get some. So, Emma, thanks for coming down. Supporting the day, yeah, no supporting worries. the contractors and all that sort of stuff. What sort of you do you do and provide from Lawn Care Australia? Um, so essentially, we supply lawn care products, um, the ICL range, to people, to contractors, to homeowners. Yep. Uh, but we also have services like soil analysis, yeah. program writing for yep. different turf types, yeah. um, and also some lawn care equipment that's sort of used commonly in yeah. lawn renos and things like yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, no, awesome. I do on the channel. There are a bunch of homeowners as well as domestic users who are always ask me about renovation. Yeah. What do I do about this? Exactly. For you, for those of you at home who never actually knew that you can test your soil to find out what it is missing can you just sort of explain a bit more about soil testing you know for those people who know nothing about it sort of thing yeah so 
Typically we find that um, the customers that sort of come to us are the ones who are, who are using good products and still not getting results. Not getting and, results, yeah. yeah. And typically, exactly, yeah. and typically that's because there's something happening in their soil. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, basically, you can't exactly pick it up and sniff it and no. be like, it's missing potassium, I need that, you know. No, I think there'd be a fair bit of judgment in the, in the neighborhood oh, yeah, yeah. as well. Yeah. Um, but no, we, we sort of get um, clients to sort of take um, soil samples and then we yeah. send it away for testing and yep. then give them give them advice regarding amendments and then care programs going yeah, forward. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And um, okay, what sort of cost is that to, to send a soil sample to you? Uh, so at the moment, I think we're sitting at about $110 for a full soil analysis yep. Yep. and where we'll sort of say, you know, does it need lime, does it need yep. dolomite, does it need this? Yeah. Um, and then 150 for an annual program with soil testing. Yes, okay. Yeah, so. And just briefly for the uneducated viewers at home, uh, what's a... Um, care program what is that sort of thing uh, so the care program is really really detailed um, it's, it's a full care program going through start of the month apply these products end yep. of the month apply these this yep. is when you should be doing a shade check weed check yep. this is when you should be looking to plan your renovation yep. yeah. all those sorts of things yeah. um, so it's like a lawns for dummies type of checklist <laughs> It's for people like me, <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, it's very prescriptive. So, yeah. um, lawn care can be as simple or as complex as you want to make it. Yep. yep. Um, so we sort of understand that it can be complex at times. So yeah. we've simplified it. So all the end user has to do is just follow it. Yeah, which yeah. is awesome for people who are either time poor like me, yeah. um, or or you're in the industry and you're trying to step up your game that you're providing for your clients, and maybe your clients have engaged with you, going, hey. You know, I really want to make my lawn healthier and happier. What can I do? Then, of course, you're going to mention something like this program for them and for your own home at home if you get time on it. Well, I don't because all my time is spent on clients' properties. But, <laughs> but yeah, no, that's fantastic. All right, well, thanks very much, Emma, for taking the time to chat with us today. And like I said, reach out to Emma on their website and they'll be able to sort you out if your lawn is struggling at home. Thank you. Oh, look, 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 professional this year. Yeah, I bought a mic. <laughs> All right, everybody, well, we are with the man, the myth, the legend himself, BJ, who is the organiser of this event. And as you can see behind me, a lot of the brands are starting to pack up and the day is finishing and probably in good time as another bit of rain <laughs> is probably about to come over. But it has been, again, another eventful and fantastic expo, I think, this year. Uh, what are your thoughts on the day? Man, I am wrecked. Uh, it's yeah. been amazing. We had so many people come through today. It was a bit different to last time. We were yep. a little bit shorter last time. Yes. This is a longer day, yep. but um, it was fantastic nonetheless. We, we had more people coming in and out, and yeah. I think when we check out the pre-registration, we'll be surprised at how many people actually turned up. Yeah. But no, it was great. So many new new brands, um, Gianni Ferrari and uh, Mo yeah. Master coming through yep. from WA was yeah, good. Some of the big players. Yeah, Mikita. Not 500 bucks for one of their mowers. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, it's, it's been great. Look, everyone I've spoken to has had a great time. Um, yeah. You know, we've picked up, so some of these brands were only coming to the one show, basically to dip their toe yep and we've picked them up all three so oh that's fantastic yeah yeah, so yeah. Really happy with that we, yep. we we've been working hard like behind the scenes i yeah. mean when you come and the, the day's over and you know six or seven hours like it doesn't yeah. it doesn't really relate like no, you don't no one see. sees the behind the scenes what's been what months year well probably since the finish of the last expo Crazy. you almost kicked off starting to plan almost Crazy. this one sort of thing and and that and congratulations to all the prize winners yeah. uh, that was amazing prizes oh. put on by the sponsors uh, you know skag being the official sponsor they put through one of their not so cheap mowers so yeah. that person who took that one home that's i was fingers crossed for my name to be yelled out but it took a few nah. <laughs> like, yeah, i, I yeah. totally respect it it's, it's a saturday and people have to come and go and yeah. do family things so i totally respect yeah. it i think uh, we got up to like seven or eight <laughs> Draws on that on that skag, yeah, yeah, yeah. so that's unfortunate. But he's well, the person who took it home isn't complaining. So. No, no. Well, he the person who bought uh, who won it yeah. actually sold it to his boss straight away. Oh, what? Yeah. So no way. Boss, so, wow. Yeah. No, it was awesome. Uh, he, he was chuffed to his beer down. He's like, Yay! Yeah, so yeah. no, it was really cool. Like I said, there's there's plenty of new brands here yeah. compared to last year, and hopefully we can just 
or you can just keep pushing yeah, and just make yeah. it bigger and better. Yeah, if, you, if you're not aware, uh, this expo is going to Sydney and Melbourne. I'll leave the dates and the venue location in the description below. If you're a Sydney sider, if you're a Melbourne sider or not far from there, make sure you attend that event and you'll be able to come and meet BJ as well down at those events and see what's going on there. Um, but otherwise, yeah, it's been another great another great day and, and really honestly thankfully the weather has held off for us I like i was honestly thinking it was going to be raining Dude, we, we <laughs> honestly we so we came out here we've been working here for the last two days filling holes making sure everything's yeah. nice and, and and as flat as possible yeah um but when we rocked in this morning we had trucks getting bogged we got six <laughs> cubic meters of mulch yeah that was, we were supposed to have a bobcat roll in and do it and then they're like no it's again so h &S, we can't do it so Jeez. we had to move it by hand it, it was it was mental so gee where did you find people to move oh, mulch by man. hand yeah, and no good. one to be around here yeah, that can good. do that has anyone got a rake <laughs> <laughs> no it's it's been a great day i'm so yeah. happy to you know meet a bunch of new contractors that weren't here last year yeah, and, and yeah. catch up with the ones that were and yeah gonna head down get a couple of drinks now and and hopefully yeah, nice. kick on and have a good night yeah. Thanks again, BJ, um, for putting on the event. If you don't know also, um, BJ has a podcast known as The Skull Session. Still, yeah, Skull Session. Yeah, still going on with Got Ben. new in the works too. Yeah, yep, just, yep. with the event, we just haven't had time to catch up, but no. there's something new in the works as well, and I'll be yeah. dropping that after the event. The industry is just like, hopefully yeah. this, this gives it a bit of a kick along. It's yeah. going to be a bit slow for a few people at the moment. I hope yeah. they, they found, found some value in today. Yeah. So. The few of the people I spoke to attended today, um, Met random people, was able to get some information that they didn't know about, where they just started out in the business, were scratching their head. I uh, had a gentleman come talk to me about hedge trimmers. They just began, had a screaming hedge trimmer. And I said, mate, you need to go battery. Yep. That is where it's at with hedge trimmers right now. And he said, yep, okay, beautiful. So, you know, we're all helping one another out in all different ways. But thanks again, BJ, for awesome, putting on man. such a fantastic event, thank man. So much, I really man. do appreciate yeah. it. And we all thank you from all of us here at home, for those who couldn't make it and anyone who turned up to the day. But we we'll look forward to Sydney and Melbourne. You'll see BJ there. You probably or may or may not see me there. Um, we'll see if the wife allows it. But uh, yeah, we'll sign off. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one. Awesome.